everyone, my name is Erica Guernsey and I am a naturalist here at the Great Plains Nature Center. Here at the Nature Center we get to see a lot of different types of animals roaming around on our trails. During the springtime we even get to see a lot of newborn or baby animals. What kind of baby animals do you think we might see out here? A few things we might see are some deer, baby birds, and even baby skunks. Does anyone know why we might see so many newborn or baby animals here in the springtime? Spring allows for longer days for the parents to be able to go out and find food for their young. During this time of year, more food and plants are available for the animals to grow and develop. Today, we're going to talk about plants, animals, and their parents. We all know all living things are born and will grow to look just like their parents, but not exactly alike. For some animals, such as mammals, they're born looking very similar to their parents. For example, we are born with similar features as our parents, but we aren't identical to them. One unique mammal we have here in the Great Plains is our Virginia opossum. They are our only marsupial in North America and look very similar to their parents as a baby. Can anyone guess what other kind of animals are known as a marsupial? I'll give you a hint. They are animals who have pouches, like kangaroos and koalas. These marsupials are native to Australia. Now, once the opossum is old enough to live outside its mom's pouch, they have already started to have similar features as their parent. One example would be the color of their fur, or even the shape of their tiny little face and ears. So we talked about how baby mammals look very similar to their parents. But what about a reptile? Can anyone name for me a reptile? I'll give you a hint. It has scales, or it can even have a shell. Snakes and turtles, great job you guys. Have you ever seen a baby snake or turtle? Do you think that they look similar to their parents when they're a baby? Let's take a look. Well, when it comes to the common box turtle we find here in the Great Plains, they seem to be very similar to their parents. Baby box turtles hatch out of their eggs and are only the size of a quarter. They are just a mini version of the adult turtle. The only characteristic that will take some time developing is their eye color. The eye color actually can help determine whether it is a girl or a boy turtle. For the ornate box turtle, girl turtles, they have brown eyes. And the boys, they have red eyes. What color do you think this turtle has? So let's recap. We've talked about a few living things that we often see here in the Great Plains and how when they're young, they can look like, but not exactly like their parents. Today, you and your classmates are gonna get to play a game. You'll get to see how well you actually know your baby animals. Can you guess what animal it is just by looking at its baby picture? Have fun. We look forward to seeing how well you did in your game, and I hope you're ready to meet one of our amazing animal ambassadors. See ya!